Hi, in this next video, we're going to go through uh, turf effects and trying to create, recreate grass that's a, a medium sized length that you can use in your routes. So let's get started with a blank route. Let's name the route. Jump up to topology, advanced, go to your add effects layers and we'll go grass medium, medium length that is. Uh, go back to grass 4 again, that's that's probably standard for your green grass. Uh, we'll leave it in 4. Uh, we'll probably do 2.5 meters again because we'll want to pace it close to the track. Uh, in the first video this, this is covered a bit more so have a look at uh, grass short if you want to find out some information about why 2.5 meters is chosen. We will increase the geometry to 0.2. The width uh, we'll leave, oh, we might increase that to point zero point zero two. We don't want any, uh, maybe a small amount of width variation, we'll try that. And the bending scale, we're getting longer grass, so we might increase the bending scale, which is the animation on how far it tilts in the wind. Um, our dispersal is how far away the blades are, we'll probably put that at point one because we want them fairly tight in a bit of, a bit of clumping going on and we'll probably get a few more grass seeds so we get more blades. So apply that. Uh, select the effect layer which we have already, height up, uh, and we'll increase the, ins the sensitivity right up. Give that a bit of a paste. And that is medium sized length grass. So if we drop our person in there again, you can see it's a little bit higher than the original example, the short grass that we just did. Uh, and you can see that that kind of wind is moving it around slightly, uh, depending on what strength your, your route has as well. Uh, will depend on how much movement it gets. Uh, so that's, that's your medium sized length of grass. Uh, and then we'll go on to do a, view, uh, a video tutorial on some long grass. Thanks for watching.